Hi children, welcome to EduCup. Today we are going to discuss about the part 3, the third part of unit 8, Changes in Matter. This lesson is regarding to grade 8 science. So, our subtopic is transition of metals. You have learned that having a shiny surface is a property of metals. In fourth lesson, when metals are exposed to air for a longer period of time, that luster disappears. The change in surface of metal like this is called tarnishing. Almost every metal tarnishes. A substance called rust is formed on the surface of iron due to the tarnation. This is reddish brown in color and it is called iron rust. This process is called rusting of iron. Due to tarnation and rusting of surfaces of metal, metals corrode. This is called corrosion of metals. Tarnation of metals and rusting of iron are chemical changes. So let's discuss about rusting of iron. To investigate the factors essential for rusting of iron, you have to do an activity. We need here three test tubes, clean iron nails and coconut oil. Let's see what we have to do. Take some water into a test tube and heat to boil it. Put a clean iron nail into it and cover the water surface with layer of oil. In step A, you can see it. Oil layer is placed to prevent the dissolving of air when water cools. Next one, take equal volumes of cold water to two other test tubes and put a clean iron nail into each. Put an oil layer to one of them as in setup B. Next one, leave the other test tube as it is. As setup C. After a few days, observe the setups. Record your observations. Let's see what are the observations of this practical. Uh, the nail in test tube A does not rust. As it contains boiled water, all the air dissolved in it has been expelled. Putting a layer of coconut oil on water has prevented the dissolving air when water cools. Test tube B contains cold water. Therefore, its water contains air. Because there is air dissolved in water, the nail in it is rust. The nail in test tube C is open to other environment. As it is receives air from outside, rusting knockers. Hence, it can be concluded that air is essential for rusting. Let's see another activity to observe the same rusting of iron. We need here boiling tube to clean iron nails, cork stopper, calcium chloride crystals, wax and coconut oil. What we have to do? Clean two iron nails with sandpaper. Fix them to the cork stopper as shown in the figure. Add calcium chloride crystals to the boiling tube and fix the stopper with the iron nails to it. Make the tube air tight with the wax. Observe the setup for several days. Record your observation. In this practical, after a few days, it can be seen that the parts of the nail outside the boiling tube have rusted while the parts inside the tube remain without rusting. Calcium chloride crystals absorb moisture in the air in the test boiling tube. Placing wax around the stopper makes the tube airtight and prevents the entry of moisture in air into the tube. As the air inside the tube is free from the moisture, the parts of the nails inside the tube do not rust. 
what is expected by driving the two nails into the cork in opposite direction. It is ensured that the pointed tip or the flat head of nails have no effect on rusting. That's why we are driving two nails in two opposite directions. There's another activity to observe the same thing. A beaker test tubes, iron fillings and cotton wool are needed. Let's see what we have to do. Take two test tubes in one of them. Like A, trap some moist cotton wool. In the other tube in B, trap similar plug of moist cotton wool with iron fillings on it. Take some water into a beaker and dip the two inward test tube A and B in water as shown in the figures. Observe the setup after few days. Record your observation. It can be seen that iron fillings in tube B have undergone rusting while water has risen up to about one-fifth of its height. The percentage of oxygen in air by volume is 21%. That is nearly one-fifth of air in given space is oxygen. If oxygen gas is used up for rusting, one-fifth of volume of air contained in space where rusting occurs should have been spent. For the rusting of iron fillings in tube B, oxygen gas in the air in that tube is used up. As one-fifth of the volume of air is oxygen, the water level rises to one-fifth the height of the test tube. From this is clear that oxygen gas is consumed during rusting. This activity proves us that oxygen and water vapor or water in air are essential for rusting of iron. Our next topic is protection of iron from rusting. Iron objects rust only when they are able to come in contact with air and water. You can see in first figure a galvanized bucket, second one a painted gate. You would have seen that paints are applied on objects made of iron such as grills, gate and bridges. Application of paint is frequently used method to prevent rusting of iron. It prevents from coming into contact with air and water. Grease is also applied in machinery made from iron to prevent rusting. You have heard about the galvanized iron item. During galvanizing, zinc metal is applied on objects made of iron. Iron in galvanized item does not rust even if their zinc cord is scratched, exposing some of their paint to air. Therefore, galvanizing is very good protective method. Items such as buckets, roofing sheets and iron nails are protected by galvanizing. Application of tin metals is also another method used to protect iron from rusting. The containers of sealed food such as sardine and milk powder through commonly called tin are vessels made of iron. In them, tin is present only as the coating. However, when stretched tin coated vessels rust very fast. This is what we have to learn as a third part of the changes in matter lesson. Our next topic is neutralization. Thank you.